guys I really like my new setup now I really like my new setup because it's so small and quite light compared to Tamron 11 to 20 press, press, press. and look at that 1.8 guys 1.8 guys I will try Assalamualaikum and hi guys welcome back to my channel Kali ni, I nak try untuk tak guna jadi shot So, I tak boleh use straight from the camera I kena go to Catalyst Browse Do some stabilization guna Catalyst Browse And we'll see the result Oh my goodness, where's the surau? Kali ni, I nak try untuk tak guna jadi shot So, I tak boleh use straight from the camera I kena go to Catalyst Browse Do some stabilization guna Catalyst Browse And we'll see the result Oh my goodness, where's the surau? Alhamdulillah dah selesai solat Going back to the car Kat B1 I tak sabar nak tengok macam mana Catalyst Browse boleh stabilize this footage Or else it is what it is I don't have to extend my hand lah kalau I tak pakai steady shot ni Ni lagi dekat ni, lens ni macam ni je Almost sejengkal je dia perform my face Cuma, the disadvantage of having this setup Untuk ZVE 10 ni Ialah, it's so small Then you will be struggling To find a grip at the camera Kalau you guys are lagi besar daripada I I think the ideal way is for you to Get a small rig for ZVE 10 So that you have more grip to the camera The good thing of using Tamron masa tu Because because lens tu besar so I have a grip dekat lens tu nak pegang pun senang dengan Sony 11mm f1.8 ni I need to adapt to the smaller lens and kena tukarlah cara cara I grip the camera but I really like the 1.8 lah guys I really like the 1.8 tu I trade in my Tamron 11 to 20mm f2.8 with Sony 11mm f1.8 oh I'm at the basement now Kalau tahu lah kalau basement tu macam mana Tak cukup cahaya Five thousand, six thousand, four hundred, five thousand ISO. Salah satu advantage menggunakan ZVE 10 ni. Satu memang I don't really need a full frame camera for now. Tak ada keperluan pun. Even my ZVE 10 pun I use for my personal usage. I don't really make money from my ZVE 10 yet unless dah start untuk buat duit untuk dapatkan balik modal I invested in ZVE 10 then mungkin after a while I can consider to upgrade to full frame lah uh. Ringgit guys Fucking Oh did I mention that When I trade in my Tamron 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 11 to 20mm tu I don't have to top up any money To get Sony 11mm 
Sebab Sony 11mm ni lagi murah daripada Tamron tu Instead, I get money from the trade in Kelemahan, the disadvantage of ZV-E10 ni After I dah pakai Masa I beli tu, I terus beli 4 bateri tau 4 bateri From the review, bateri dia memang tak tahan lama Bateri dia macam Kalau you shoot tu untuk 1 hour Macam sekarang ni, bateri ni baru lagi I tak guna pun lagi camera ni since I balik Sekarang I dah shoot, shoot sikit Tinggal 27% Bateri ni kecil, very small bateri Cuma, the good thing about ZV-E10 is Kalau you shoot And it uh, especially kalau you dekat indoor ke Atau even you outdoor pun If you have a power bank You can charge your ZV-E10 using that power bank So you can power up your ZV-E10 menggunakan power bank Okay we are going to enter smart tunnel ya So I tak tahu how dark is smart tunnel when he, when I view the footage nanti And sorry lah kalau bergegar-gegar ni sebab dia ada the pump tu I don't know whether catalyst sprouts can do some magic See. This is very dark guys Smart tunnel Nama ada lampu sangat pun So I'm just entering smart tunnel Nak menghala ke Seremban Highway KL Seremban Highway Ui 6778 Nice number Nice number Look at my number Ha Kalau keluar je terus 100 over exposed kat sini kan Just leave it there lah I tak nak mesej lah I just want to enjoy the one point Mungkin a bit over exposed kan Terus sekarang ni I nak kena jual The ND filter Untuk Tamron lah tu Masa nak trade in tadi Dia cakap dia tak ambil ND filter Okay fine So I need to advertise Dekat Caruso And Put the link nanti lah Dekat the description For the If you are interested Click on the link Go and You know Have a look at it Okay lah guys uh, thank you for watching Till then Bye